Hello, it's Raina. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do Belle's Library. And I did stick with the Beauty and the Beast wallpaper and windows. I left the floor the default it was, mainly probably because I forgot to change it, but it doesn't look too bad. So um, I'm using, I think it's the Arendelle stove that was a purchased item. And I wanted this to match the bedroom to some extent, and um, so I did use the windows and just the picture also of the Beauty and the Beast, so it matches. I did use bookcases, they're not part of the Beauty and the Beast collection. I don't I don't believe so. It might be they might be sort of stone collection, but I think they're the only bookcase well they're the only bookcases I have. I don't know if they're the only bookcases in the game thus far. And these silly books, I wanted them to turn around but they would not. <laughs> I love this big globe. I hesitated putting it there at first, but I ended up liking it. And also this color of sofa. I only went with it because it's all part of the same collection. And in the end, I feel like somehow it matches, even though we have the green wallpaper in a very different green on the couch but it kind of is a color pop that works and I think it might be because the wood on the couch is also on the desk and the bookcases and um, it even matches the stove it has a little bit of reddish to it so I feel like because that works, the rest of it works. I wanted to get that on something, but it would not. So I stuck it in the corner. I have a thing for empty corners. I, I don't know why, but I feel like if there's an empty corner, something needs to <laughs> I'm pretty much that way in my own house too. I'll fill in the corners before anything else sometimes. So these are the bookcases and I just took three, ordered three and lined them up. I debated doing the whole room in bookcases, but I also want it to serve as like a study because I has dreamed of this and read of an adventure and now she's going to live it. So she, is she going to read books still? Of course she's going to still read books. Once a reader, always a reader, right? But she also is the lady of a big estate. And so they often, or always, had a lot to do. And I would imagine if you have a large estate, even today, you have a lot to do. So Belle's going to be a busy lady. So I wanted to have a nice desk and I wanted it to be cozy so I'm using this rug and end up placing it under the desk so that that is the highlighted item in the room. So I do imagine that somewhere Beast also has a office and I would imagine that while he has some books, he ha has a much bigger desk for all of his many things he has to keep track of. Thank you. 
So I first put the picture and these two candelabras up, but <clears throat> I really didn't like how then you have one panel with nothing on it. And I also didn't love that all the light was on that side of the room. So I decided to change things around a little bit and put them in a more logical place. And so I really loved that, but then that to me also is not logical because she needs the light on her, over her desk. And here's me being like, this is a real room that real people are going to read real things, right? <laughs> but I don't know why I do that, but <clears throat> I do. So I ended up changing it, and I do like it this way too, but honestly, I did love it the other way best. But to me, this makes more sense, but... But you may just decide different and that is fine I wanted to put a cozy little area over here um, in case um, Belle had some guests and then also, <clears throat> excuse me, a little reading spot to curl up and read some of her books. Sometimes I don't understand why some things don't, won't go on top of other, like they'll only go on top of certain tables. It, when it would still be that one spot, I don't know, but you know, I have to just remind myself the game is in beta and these are things that they're probably still tweaking. And that stack of books worked really well too. And I wanted an open book on there, could not get it on there, so. Just gotta make do with what we have. And we can always change it around later if we're given other things or things are updated in such a way that we can change them. So I end up putting an orchid there, um, which I like because it's like a soft orange color and it kind of plays off of the chair, the color of the chair. And then I decided to put um, a chandelier in here because it still seemed kind of dark to me. But the other thing that bothered me was I still just have that one picture there. I see I filled that empty corner. <laughs> so I'm unhappy with that one picture. Just all by its lonesome. So I decided to look for another one. Because I kind of remember this one right here. And I'm not sure what collection that is from, but they have the same frame. And I, I wasn't sure of it because the colors look so totally off, but when I'm, it's the light, it's how the light is reflecting off of them. So I switched them around because the other one was darker 
and um, so I thought the lighter one would show up better but then I decided to change the light anyway because I didn't really like that it was only lighting up half the room these would seem like logical things <laughs> but took me a moment so now we're gonna do our tour and I don't know why Wally kept following me we hung out and then I said goodbye and he keeps following me all day I did put the Beauty and the Beast um, water that waterfall it's not a waterfall it's a fountain in here and I think I'm going to jazz up this room a little bit too I just haven't got to it so here is the finished prod product and we'll take a look at it through the builder because the, the camera responds better to me that way so I want to thank you for watching and I also want to ask that if you did like this video that you press like and consider subscribing as that will help my channel to grow and I really appreciate it and I hope that this gives you some inspiration and that you have a truly awesome day.